Hello everybody and welcome back to the mega modded Enter the Gungeon series. We are back Censored. again. Censored. Yeah, Nevenim basically said a bunch of risque things. I won't even say risque. Horrible, horrific things to start off the last recording. Yeah, I, so I um, have to stop it. I, uh, I was saying... No. <laughs> No. Listen, if I don't if I don't give any context, people are gonna think it's racist. It wasn't. It racist. wasn't racist. It was it was about human anatomy, and it was not pleasant. Anyways, I yeah, we've got to wait till the twenty minute mark before I can talk about uh, exactly, exactly censored. So I'm eating some grapes. Never is gonna kick off this episode by telling you what. Yeah, he's happening. sucking censored. I said kick off the episode. I'm eating. Come on, it's your job now. Oh, uh, you're the YouTuber. Hi. I'm, uh, I'm never named. He's Turtle Melon. I'm not Turtle Melon. And today, we're going to be playing once more into the breach, along with assorted other mods, because it has been ported to the Thunderstorm mod manager. Huzzah! Woo! That's what I'm talking about, baby. Although it's kind of yeah. broken at the minute and doesn't work with Garbage Collector. Don't know if that's his fault or Apache's it's not... fault. It's weird because it's a memory issue. There's like taking up too much RAM, and that's something that's difficult to fix, because it's not like a, a, a specific error. It's just, there's a lot that's loading, yeah. and, it, and since Garbage Collector takes up a lot of RAM to clean the game, so to speak, it, uh, it just sort of overloads and can't boot the game. So I'm gonna have to talk to Apache about maybe a, a possible fix, or just looking into what our options are. Yeah. See what can be because obviously, like nobody wants to play without garbage collector and uh, yeah, it's, turtle it's, melon. It's... Also, I would hope at least doesn't want to play without what's more under the breach. That's true. I don't. Especially now that it's been added, I need it in yeah, my so life. So you have it. You have expand once more into the breach. Uh, Children of Caliber and a bunch of uh, other smaller mods. Yeah. I wonder if I, I do wonder if Garbage Collector will work with just Once More Into the Breach and Garbage Collector. Maybe, yeah. Or if it's, or if it's just the sheer quantity of mods that causes Garbage Collector and that to overload. And obviously yours is the biggest of them, so y'all kind of tipped it over the scale. Yeah, mine's fucking massive. Hmm. I don't like the way you speak. I don't. It wasn't a sexual euphemism. Shut up. It's accurate. You know it is. My mod is gigantic. It is. It very much is. You showed me pics. <clears throat> I... If I'm not allowed to talk about censored <laughs> within the first few seconds of the video, you're not allowed to fucking... Well, I don't know, what do we call this? Is this sexual harassment? Do I need to talk to HR? It, it very much is. It's intended to be. Hello, yes, I would like to... Uh, I would like to cancel uh, Mr. Turtle Melon, please. Yes, uh, the Board of Cancellation. Twitter Yas Queen. Oh. I'm a loser again, aren't I? Yeah, you are. You're a loser. So, I... I think this is our first recording session with me sitting... Like, At your obviously, new chair. I've been sitting in the... Yeah, my new chair. I've been sitting in it the whole time. We recorded Nuclear Throne. Don't eat the cheese this. again! You're a big fat coward! Stop eating the stupid I, little cheese! You I absolute know, I big fuck! God damn! Still really pisses me off that you spend a hundred hegemony credits and get zero of the rewards if you don't kill him. I think, I think the rewards are meant to be secondary. I think the the point of the machine is for people to practice the rat fight. For a hundred hegemony credits, no. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's still not. That's a ridiculously high cost if you haven't already beaten the the rat. Yeah, that's a good point. Apache, uh, fix. Like it's teleport for, a prototype. For me, it seems like definitely a hegemony credit dump for when you've got too many. Right. right we also got this. Increase the chance of hearts and armor to spawn from room clear. Increase coolness. Nice. All right, so just more health drops. Um, yeah, I'm in my new chair. New chair. So I can beam. <clears throat> You can spin. <laughs> yeah, so I am currently, my laptop is to my left. I am speaking with my head tilted to the left to speak to the microphone because 
I have rotated my chair and I have my feet up on the wall. Oh, I kind of do that too. I've got like a a wardrobe to the so, left of my desk. It's so nice because I don't need to play anything. I don't. I just need to sit here and mock you, and it's so nice. Pretty much. It's rude, but it's true. We also got the lightsaber, which I remember being terrible. Uh, that's okay. It does a lot of damage, but I do agree that it is kind of underwhelming. I need to make it because currently. It, it's just like you hover it over them. You don't swing. You don't swing it, make, yeah. It needs to be like the wooden beam, make, really, doesn't it? But without the knockback. Yeah. But I have no idea how to make it like the wooden beam is the issue. And I'm, I'm, I do plan to look into that. This weapon is going to get an overhaul. This is, I gotta say, it's a really cool idea for a weapon. And it does work well. But yeah, it, it, it just doesn't feel super satisfying to use, does it? Yeah, this was sort of uh, an off-the-wall idea. It was meant to be like, huh, so beams are new, or they were at the time. I could make a lightsaber which whose uh, blade is a real laser instead of like a melee weapon. It's an actual beam melee. Yeah. And I, th I think it's cool. I think it's cool. Yeah, I think it's cool. I, I just meant that like it is just, yeah, it doesn't really have the effect, does it? Yeah. So I want to make it increase damage based on velocity, and I want to um, give it a few more synergies. Yeah. Because that makes a lot of sense. <clears throat> I, I don't know how I didn't think of this, but it would be so fucking cool if you got a synergy that turned it into a massive, like a gigantic lightsaber. And you need one that that's like turns it red and does like well, one out the back as well, so it's like Dad Maul. Well, uh. I could, but I guess, but the same effect is achieved with like a backup gun and hot lead. Yeah, true, but like having just a synergy with either of those items that just makes like, it red. Be cool. Your lightsaber is green now. It is. Because you picked up an item that tinted it and you oh, didn't I even see. need me I to make a synergy. Notice. True, true, true. Let's take this thing I didn't even notice Boom Hilda. My own NPC. I didn't Boom even notice Hilda. her. Yes. <clears throat> Hit a fucking table. Straight away. I wouldn't recommend using there. this for bosses. Maybe keep it on quick switch for when he stands still, but uh, yeah, it's ideally not good on anything that doesn't have like a a period of st uh, staying in one spot. Also, I can light him on green fire, which is rather nice for bosses. Nice. And I think Although red fire and green fire stack, don't they? I think so, yeah. Uh, green fire is not permanent on No, it's not, though. but it, it still does uh, good damage, though. I think it yeah, lasts longer yeah. than normal for red fire. I do have a synergy with the witch pistol. Hey, magic missile. I believe that makes it fire two rockets instead of one. Oh, 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 that's quite powerful. Yes, it is. That is quite saucy, if I do say so myself. So, this new update to Once Burned the Breach is mainly just the Bepin port. But there are a few bug fixes. A few little things, and then plenty more to come when he officially gets his laptop back. He has it, he has it back right now. But not permanently. Yeah, the full um, the full uh, code changes are. I made changes to how I inside my armor NPC prices his items, so it should be, it's it's now easier to get uh, lower tier items. So like lower tier items cost less, but higher tier items cost slightly more. So it's easier to get. Uh, C and D tier items, and a bit harder to get S tier items. Yeah. Instead of it being just sort of generally difficult to get anything. Yeah, because before he was he was pretty useless most of the time you found him, because everything cost like two armor at least, which was always yeah. pretty, like, it's, it's kind of rare that you had any more than two armor at any one time, really. Unless you're the sort of, sort of person that buys it a lot. I sort of considered, like, do I want Ironside to be... Uh, a powerful NPC, and I sort of came to the conclusion that I do not mind if he is a very strong NPC. Yeah. So I don't mind if it's a bit too easy to buy items from him, because honestly, 
it's it's fine by me. And the, at the end of the day, he's when you're adding more NPCs, that makes other NPCs rarer anyways, so... Yeah. Uh, I moved the gravity gun to A tier from S tier, because while the gravity gun is really cool, it's just not strong enough to warrant A tier, uh, yeah, S tier. Uh, yeah. Like, it can clear a whole room, but that's just not enough for, uh, for S tier. Yeah. So I think A tier is a more comfortable place for it. That makes sense to me, yeah. Okay, it doesn't fire on it decided to missiles, it just fires them one after the other. I see. Yeah, because like there'd be it'd be pretty jank if it fired them both at the same time. Yeah. You're right. <clears throat> and you, uh, also made a change to Bloody Box, that item that uh yes, I know you spend mean. HP to spawn a chest. Now the chests it spawns are completely uh, irreverent of magnificence. Oh, that's good. Yeah, so uh, the, the item will be more useful the later on into a run you get because it can still give you high tier chests even when you already have high tier items. Yeah. But uh, I elected that. I, I basically figured I had two options. I could either make it make I could either make it spawn unlocked chests, or I could make it so that the chests aren't affected by magnificence. And I figured that not being affected by magnificence was a a trade off that I was more comfortable with. I guess. Yeah, I like that better. <clears throat> and the thing is, as well, late also, game, you often have more keys than you need anyway, so. I also buffed the Pum Heart, which was that, it's just that massive fuck off cannon. Yeah. Like, that fills the entire screen. I, uh, I gave it even more stats, because I felt like even with its immense stats, it was underwhelming for how long it takes to charge. This Blanks again? are key very cool. Uh, so okay. picking up a blank, basically it constantly sets your blanks and keys to the same number. So when you spend a key, you also spend a blank. And when you spend a blank, you also spend a key. But when you pick up a blank, you get a key. And when you pick up a key, you get a blank. So they're basically the same thing now. It's, it's not a great item, but it does make keys cheaper. Yeah. It has its place, is how I yeah. like to think about it. I knew it wasn't in a, it wasn't like a great item when I made it. It's just a, an item that has its place, and if you're in a place where it, it benefits you, then yay. Um. Also changed a uh, bag of holding and sanctified oil. Ooh, sanctified oil got change. <clears throat> Sanctified Oil now gives you full ammo on all weapons when you pick it up for the first time. Great, that was a th uh, thing that Foots mentioned, wasn't it? Yeah. Or at least Foots experienced an issue with. So, the item should at least now be better for people who don't have a lot of ammo in their guns. Yeah. I also I changed Bag of Holding. Bag of Holding is an item that gives... Uh, it gives you 10 active slots. Uh, this item is a chance to give you three glass guans when you take damage. So okay. when okay. you take damage, you have a chance to be restored to three glass guans. Cool. I like it. But Yeah, Bag of Holding was plus 10 active slots. The idea being that it's an item that makes you able to hold as many actives as you could ever feasibly want to. Yeah. And while that's it's fine, it's a good item, it's kind of boring. Well, yeah, definitely. It's just and like an increase of a number. I, I decided that at the very least, I should make it give you an active item on pickup. Like a random one. Yeah. Oh, that's a good so idea. Now, I like that a lot. So now Bag of Holding... Gives you a, it gives you plus 10 active slots, and when you pick it up, you get a random active item. I like that a lot. It's a really good change. I like it. It makes the item better. I also changed the kinetic blaster a little. You know that gun that, uh, that has yeah. a high knockback, the, but the also knocks you back? It's very hard to use, like, reliably, yeah. I made it so that 
its damage and recoil scale off of your knockback stat. Okay. So if you have reduced knockback, it will do less damage, but also push you back less. But if you have increased knockback, it'll push you back harder, but do more damage. That's pretty interesting. I like, the, I like having my things that scale with stuff. Yeah. And considering that my mod has stuff that's like... Uh... <laughs> my mod has stuff with, uh... Items that can increase knockback by like five times or whatever, you could get five times damage and recoil. Interesting. That could be a lot of fun. Which I think is kind of nutty. Yeah. Okay, but at the same time, it, it, it needed something. It needed the potential yeah. to be nutty at least. It, it needed something because it was, yeah, it was very hard to make use of to be honest. Yeah. At the very least, even though it's still not a great gun by default, it has potential to be better in the right circumstances with the right build. Ooh, friend! Oh, oh, Greetings, fellow bleeding of flesh. Care to buy anything? All proceeds go to funding a 100% non-evil cause. <laughs> Damn. So this is a Children of Caliber uh, NPC selling one of my favorite items of all time that I'll never be able to afford. <clears throat> Rip. Get fucked. Big sad. It would 100% kill you with the amount of dangerous items I have, uh, guns I have in my mod. I want that though. I want that risk. It sounds fun. You want to die? Yeah, it sounds fun. I feel you. It sounds fun. But not like that. Uh, excuse me? I fired two rockets directly into the wall there, apparently. This thing's interesting. Bear's rifle. Ooh, hello. Speaking of items that do stupid shit with knockback, <laughs> this is another one. In theory, this would make the burst rifle... Not the burst rifle, the, um... <laughs> the kinetic blaster. Just terrible. The kinetic blaster do negative damage, which I don't even know how that would work. Like cap its damage at a at a low point. I forgot to do that. I'll note that down to do eventually. This is always a fun item to find. It's dangerous, but it's kind of fun. Yeah, I I, I genuinely like mistake bullets. It, yeah. it does pretty good things for your stats. For how like dangerous it is. Yeah, I'm gonna say the trade-off isn't isn't terrible. And there's enemies like that that just don't take any uh, knockbacks though. Technically those enemies do, but they're locked into position when they are doing an attack animation. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what kind of what I meant. Same with like gun nuts and stuff. Yeah. <clears throat> and booklets. I just gotta pick the right time. Yeah. And bosses are completely immune to knockback. Um. Fun fact, uh, the boss, because enemies don't just have knockback immunity, each type of immunity has to have a name, right? Yeah. So you can't just be like, give this enemy knockback immunity, you have to give it a name for that immunity, and the immunity given to bosses is called like a boss. <laughs> nice. Ooh, that's a great item to grab. It feels Damn good that nothing boy. is drastically broken, at least. That's not about the Dragon Claw, why not? <clears throat> I know um, Sophia's taken a bit of a break from modding, I think it's been yeah. getting to her a little. But I think she's doing some really good work, and I hope she comes back eventually, because... Oh, definitely, like, yeah. Well, she's like every other artist in the sense that she degrades her work a lot, but... <laughs> It, it's genuinely what she has made is very valuable and really cool. I gotta say, she has some of my favorite things in Gungeon modding. Some, some of the stuff like, in her in her mod pack is so cool. Like that uh, that NPC. It, it's a really tiny detail, but that NPC sitting on a carpet that is a is a face with skin. <laughs> uh, from like a lead cube in Bullet Hell. A uh, flesh cube, I think they're called. I forget. Yeah. But, like, that is something I would never have thought of and is so, like, clever. 
<laughs> it's pretty cool, yeah. <laughs> so, it's just... I think it's important to point that out sometimes. Because... It, it's it's nice. You know? And I, I just hope she comes back when she's ready. Yeah. I hope so too. Uh, I don't know if the beam blade has knockback. It doesn't look like it does. No, it doesn't. Huzzah. Right. So be because right, uh, knockback is a multiplier. If a gun yeah. doesn't do any knockback to begin with, it doesn't do negative knockback when multiplied because zero times any number is zero. And. That means that uh, mistake bullets are really good with guns that do low knockback. And that's actually something... Th there are two reasons the mistake starts with the club, right? One, because it's funny, and two, because <laughs> the club actually does such low knockback that it's, it's one of the best... It's one of the best guns to have with negative knockback, unironically, because yeah. it doesn't pull enemies towards you as much. It's, it's actually, unironically it, yeah. a decent gun because of its low knockback, and I think a lot of people don't appreciate that, because why would they? It's the fucking mistake. <laughs> uh, I, I am going to port classic mistake to Beppin, and I want to add mistake into Once More Into the Breach as a an uh, inherent character, as like yeah. an updated version. But uh, if I add mistake to Once More Into the Breach, it will be as a uh, like an improved version of the mistake. This is interesting. This is very cool. Yeah, this? Sparpy showed this off. Uh, Sparpy, he was working on custom uh, bullet patterns, and he made whip, a couple whip guns. There's a, a couple of them. There's one that's like whipped cream. That's but, really cool. Yeah, it looks, it breaks fucking horrendously if you have helix bullets, but other than that, <laughs> yeah. It doesn't do knockback. Yeah, it doesn't seem to. Allows us I to have do considered. Sparpy has actually given uh, modders full permission to make their own whip guns using his code if, if we want. So it is something I'm considering. It's really cool. Like, it's not too. It's not too strong. But then again, I wouldn't expect it to be super strong. The summoner class in Terraria uses whips, and. Yeah. Uh, this lever whip is actually a slight Terraria reference. If you look at its a quote, if it's at its pickup quote, yeah, uh, it references Terraria. But uh, other than that, it doesn't do anything. Uh, like four summon tag damage is a what you'd see on a weapon in Terraria. Yeah. But uh, it doesn't actually do anything with companions. <clears throat> That's just like a, a little neat little reference. And I want to make a uh, whip that's like actually refocuses companions onto the enemy that you whipped. Ooh, so it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's literally like, get him, boys. <laughs> you whip the enemy. Yeah, that's how whips are treated in Terraria. You whip an enemy, and all your companions, all your summons, focus on it and do a little bit of extra damage. I think. And da Dallin, I think, I can you respray cool the brick, like brick breaker to make it me? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be funny. What? So Dallin, can you respray the brick breaker to make it into me? Oh, because it fires turtle shells. Yeah. I was so confused. Because like I thought you just meant the gun, and I was like, what is this talking? Is he calling himself stupid? <laughs> is he calling himself a fucking brickhead? Because I'd agree, but I don't really think he would be saying that. What on earth is this mess? <laughs> it's uh, you're meant to slide across the tables and have fun, you joyless hag. <laughs> Whee! That was pretty fun. You're, you're right. Um. But yeah, oh, just yeah. some some things that I I've been thinking about maybe doing. Like whip guns are so cool, and it's a shame that Sparky only did a small handful of them. Even though, like, it's really not a shame because Sparfy's mod isn't... Like, it, it's got... It's sizable, and all content in it is very high quality. Yeah, it is. But uh, it's still fairly small compared to a lot of the other bigger mods out there. 
and I guess my perception of what counts as a lot of guns is pretty skewed. <laughs> yes. Because he's made like he's made like three or four that use the whip mechanics, and for most people that would be perfectly fine. But I'm like, that's barely any Sparpy. There's like ten million different things you could do with this concept. <laughs> and I think I think it in that voice too, and I really annoy <laughs> myself. Gee, Willikers, boss. Even though you've made ridic like a, a, a stupid amount of everything. Yeah. Yeah, your your opinion is very skewed in that department. Yeah, like I was saying, uh, I was saying like before, like oh he's he's barely made any guns with the concept, and as I was saying it, I sort of came to the realization, no, he's made a perfectly normal amount of guns with the concept. He has made perhaps even more guns with the concept than a person normally would. I am yeah. just insane. I am an addict, and I need to get help. Very much so. Uh, there needs to be like yeah. a a modders uh, a gungeon modders like therapy session, like a group Rehab. therapy session. Aftercare for when the yeah. code fucks you in the ass. Um. So speaking of, uh, always a dangerous start to a conversation. <laughs> See you in the ass. Anyways, speaking of that, um, I have the same friend who was wondering about boats earlier. Oh yeah, we recorded Nuclear Throw, which will be coming out later. Uh, actually, no, before this oh, video. Yeah. So you, yeah, yeah. you guys won't have heard so, any of that <laughs> until the last Nuclear later. Throne episode I was in, I talked about a friend who asked some very strange questions about boats. And if you want to know what those were, go watch Nuclear Throne on the <laughs> Turtle Melon channel. My god. You're watching. What have we god, can you imagine, like, in the middle of an episode, there's just a random cutaway, and it's like, you're watching the Turtle Melon channel. It's like the Disney Channel thing. In, yeah. the, in the corner of the screen where they would draw, like, uh, the Disney Channel logo, they draw, like, uh, a turtle face. <laughs> just a second. Did you pause for a second? Yeah. But yeah, back. Uh, I, should, back. I should just be at a normal speaking volume, apparently, if I don't want to wake people up. So yeah, this is a uh, Minesweeper gun. Very and cool. It, uh, it deals damage that corresponds to the numbers it fires. I like it. And it also fires a, a mine with each shot. <laughs> it's a cool little reference, like, gun that, I like that. I also put in uh, extensive research, which is to say I googled pictures of Minesweeper to make sure that the numbers <laughs> are the same colour they are in the game. Nice, gotta have it accurate. Is it, this is very yeah. on-brand for, for Gungeon weapons. So if you look in the corner, uh, the ammo bar is Minesweeper tiles. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I, I'm putting things. a lot of effort into the thematics of this, and I felt really bad for doing it, because Blazy also has a Minesweeper gun. Ooh. In, in Prismatism. How could you? Prismatism is I peak of... mob, how could you? It's okay, Blazy. It's just Bla added to is, is, is Blazy back doing new stuff for Gungeon now? Uh, they're working on a a mod that I they're not telling a huge amount about. It's called Oddments. Oddments. And they're not yeah, they're not telling people a huge amount about it. But they are also doing some small stuff to touch up prismatism in areas where it's a bit rough around the edges. Yeah. Like they're doing a, a handful of item reskins, to, like making yeah, updating say, the prismatism cause, sprites. With I'm gonna say Blazy sprite work has vastly improved over the past year. Oh no, yeah, Blazy is phenomenally better at spriting uh, than she was when she started, and I think it hurts her to look at old prismatism sprites. <laughs> so she's updating them. I might die, you know. This this is not going well. Then drop mistake bullets, you numpty. No. Fucking dickhead. Oh, okay. This, this is this is quite nice. I'm not sure why it's firing missiles, but I'll take it. Uh, what'd you pick up? I got a rocket. Oh, man. you picked up Rocket Man. But it shouldn't work with infinite ammo weapons. So. No, it does. Oh, it does. Why? <laughs> it shouldn't. I, I think it does. Well. 
because normally infinite ammo weapons don't fire this fast and fire this many bullets. Oh my god, I'm gonna die in this room. Oh, I think I know what's happening. What's happening? So, unless Sparpy did some special stuff, bullets that come out... Okay. There is a thing that the game does called normalizing across fire rate that makes it so that effects don't trigger too often on, like, uh, guns that fire too fast. And yeah. uh, unless Sparpy put in some special code that makes the um, other bullets count, technically, only the first bullet in the chain might be being treated as if it came out of the gun. Mm. The other bullets... If the other bullets that uh, form up the chain, if they're not being treated as, as if they came out of the gun and he's just spawning them, then the code that normalizes across fire rate considers them a one-off instead of being fired as part of a huge spread, and it might be, ca be causing... Uh, Rocket Man to trigger way more than it otherwise would. Mm, I like it. That's just a, a that's just I a theory. Th I fired three rockets when I swung then. Yeah, because you're technically creating multiple projectiles, and they're all treated as independent, one-shot things from a non-existent gun, which means the item it might be triggering way more than it should. And that's my theory, at least, for why Rocket Man is fucking Looney Tunes with the whip. The star, turtle. Yeah, yeah, but I've got a good active already. Oh. I, I, to be fair, I do have, I do have utility it. belt, so I could have actually picked it up. I, I can't afford it anyways. I didn't realise you couldn't afford it. I forgot that things get ridiculous. Ooh. Oh, free zone, free zone. Any... Turtle, free zone. Do I have any blanks? Mm. Well, uh, I don't think that's going to matter. I like the whip. <laughs> yeah, uh, whip is very much broken with Rocket Man. I like that I always I, I find don't... these really niche and broken combinations. It's fun. I mean, that's that's just sort of what you do in any game. Yeah. Uh, like, there's an episode. There's an episode of the um... of the Lamb game. Oh, you, I did, didn't I? Damn. But I was gonna say, yeah. In the in the Nuzlocke we're doing at the minute, there's a Bear Tron episode coming up that I got a really niche and incredible incredibly broken synergy with two modded items and it was pretty awesome yeah that sounds about right but yeah call it the lamb carry on yeah uh i decided to make you into one of my villages or make it one of my villages into you to be more accurate uh because there's a i went to turtle's game. house and i scrunched him up like a trash cube and i put him in the game uh how did you get full health because I just picked a bunch of health after the boss fight. Wait, did it really drop that much HP? It, it dropped two full hearts, yeah. And I bought some as well. Oh. I wasn't paying attention at all. Um, but yeah, Turtle uh, lived a faithful life of being my slave, and then he died of old age, and then I <laughs> brought him back to life. Oh, you, re you resurrected me, did you? Yeah, because your service is not done. You think you can get away from me that easily? Doesn't it make me young again if you resurrect me too? Yes. Yes. Huzzah. And I think I also gave you a, a skull necklace after that, so... Good luck, fucker. I don't know what that does, I've not got that far in the game. Uh, it... it the skull... the necklaces are random, so... I've had a few I got of them, a skull yeah. necklace. I got a skull necklace as my first necklace, and I just got a second one that I gave to you. Uh, it extends the follower's lifespan. Oh, nice, okay. I got, my first one was uh, making the follower not able to sleep, like they don't need sleep anymore. Yeah, I've not found that one yet and it'll be so useful to. I'm gonna say it's really good. Yeah, I, I, I don't know if you've seen any of my episodes so far, but I'm literally creating a I watched. Cult. I watched both of them. No, if Very you're... disappointed that you didn't name one after me. You're on the list. I have a massive list of people so far. You're on the list. I better be, I better be in the next episode and you better you make me a be. blue turtle, you fuck. <laughs> There's so many gonna, names before gonna, yours, unfortunately. I'm gonna hurt you. Good. I'm gonna I'm gonna say censored. 
No, don't do it. I'm gonna make you scrap this whole recording by saying something you just find so God damn, I, Sparpy, I love this whip. It's so cool. Un, so unrepentingly vile that you uh, have to scrap the episode. God damn. I have that power. You technically do. I, I have that power, and I only have that power because I know you're too lazy to edit it out. That's true. I am. I won't, I won't. I'm not gonna be that petty. But I could be. <laughs> but and you I should, have the you power live to in be. fear. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it, but I need you to know that I could at any moment. Ah, <laughs> uh, Rocket Man plus Whip. A classic combo. What do you mean a classic combo? You only just found it like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> it's classic. And by classic, I mean... Brand new. I like it. Yeah, exactly. Um, it's a lot of fun though, I'm liking it. <laughs> the whip itself is really, really strong if I get up close, but also firing rockets from a distance gives it a little bit more of an oomph. So in Cult of the Lamb, I, uh... Ooh, this is interesting. So this lets you sacrifice a heart container, don't use it yet. You sacrifice a heart container to upgrade the tier of every chest on the floor by one. So, like, find your chests and figure out what they are and see if you want to use it. Cool. Will do. Also, if you Can get any chest one? drops. Oh, shit. God damn it, never named. I should. I wanted to shoot. Do you have any goop? You have shot grub. You actually... You need to shoot the, the fuse. Yeah, what I tried the... to, but control. Why just shoot the chest full on in the face, you dumb shit? I was just going to use the shrine. You I'm just I, if I you ruined it, everything. I'm just saying it won't work on any room drops afterwards. If you if you clear a room and it drops a chest, that chest won't be upgraded because you used the shrine before it spawned. You've made me sad, man. Yeah, I like making you sad. It's my fetish. Give me that diamond. I think I made it so you could use the shrine multiple times. I don't remember, though. It might I'll be worth check. checking and seeing if you can interact with it again after you find your next chest. What if it's fused as well? Then open it. Ooh, I'm missing me. Yeah, I've really been enjoying Cult of the Lamb. Oh, yeah, I think it's, it's been nice to have some, uh, some more inspiration, I guess. It's a stressful game as well. Oh, never did. I can't believe you. Why, why would you tell me to use it then? I could have saved it until after that chest. Floppy censored. God damn you. Right. Bring it back now, y'all. Yeah. We'll see. I don't remember if it can be used multiple times. It can. It can be. It can and so far... So it's, wait, can I do it again and get a rainbow chest? It's not... Okay. It can turn into a rainbow chest, but it's not guaranteed. It's like a 20% a chance that a black chest will turn into a rainbow chest. You I have like been warned. Ones. If you want to have like a... Okay, Dang. but it, you have two black chests, one of which you can't open. For some reason that unlocked it, and I don't know. Oh, Lord I remember. Life. If you use the shrine, any black chests that don't get turned into rainbow chests get at least get unlocked. I got Lead of I Life, that I... but it's useless right now. Of... Oh, yeah. I need to make Lead of Life give you a bullet upgrade. But it's just hard because Lead of Life is sort of filed away in my mind as, oh, God, no. Because of how difficult it is, it was to set up. I don't think it'd be that hard to make it drop a bullet modifier, though, would it? No, it wouldn't. But uh, there, I, the, 
It's okay. annoying to the have such a cool why item and I pointed not out, <laughs> The reason why I pointed out in my mind is because it's not technically hard. It's just mentally hard to want to work on it again. But at the minute, it's useless. Oh. Not for me, It's not useless. Like, to be fair, this is like the first time in a while I've seen someone get it who hasn't had a bullet modifier. But I agree it should give a bullet modifier in these instances. Yeah. Okay, so don't die. I will try, but... Yeah. And so what do you actually think of the, the Click Lock Shrine? I think it's a really cool idea, yeah, especially being in multiple use. I figured, like, if a person wants to spend three heart containers to get no an blanks, item, I should No blanks, because the them. blanks are tied to my fucking keys. Oh yeah, I forgot that. about that. <laughs> Anyhow, nice. we dead. But yeah, I think that was a pretty good modded run. It was, like, it was fun. That was, we, we found a really broken combo. Stuff. Yeah, you found a broken combo, you got a new shrine, and the video will not have recorded audio. <laughs> no, I checked. I've been checking relentlessly since that Cult of a Lamb video. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed regardless. Oh, he hit me up fun. after that, like, shitting and oh. pissing. I don't, I, people haven't seen that yet, seeding, so... Molding. On Monday oh. or Tuesday, I think it's Tuesday, I'm going to release a Cult of a Lamb video that I recorded, and I beat the first main story boss, and my PC reset all of my audio devices, so OBS didn't record any sound of the game or my voice, so I lost the whole thing. So I then had to, like... Yeah. I was very, and he was, very mad. He was mad. He was mad. I was, I was very mad. It was a 50-minute recording. I was very pissed off. Um, and, um... So I had to, like, go and re ah, I just put some water in my face hole. Nice. Anyhow, we are going to leave it here. Pipes. It's, it's been a good one. It's been a good one. Hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you guys yeah. in the next one. Bye-bye.